Tonight's Taste of the Town is the event for food and wine lovers, the South Beach Wine and Food Festival. It kicks off tonight with one of its most popular events, the Q. The Q, of course, combines barbecue and bubbly. It sure does, and it combines deliciousness. As always, CBS 4's Lisa Petrillo is on the sands of Miami Beach to take us inside. Lisa, I understand right, you sat right. down with come, some come pretty famous, Everybody's amazing chefs to talk left. everything from food to social media. Get us up to date. You know what, Cynthia, and look, some of them are more. actually behind us now. This Tall is the official the chef's meeting, as we said, right before the big party, the Michael opening Simon night party right of the queue. The but oh, yeah, yes, earlier last week, we sat down Looking with a bunch good, of dude. South Florida's phenomenal chefs to talk okay, everything all, food. It's a little bit of what we would call side food for thought. The right side as you're looking at we have chef Timon Ballou of Sugarcane and Bocce Bar in Midtown. The grand dame herself, TV star and chef Michelle Bernstein from Mishi's and Crumb and Parchment in Miami. Todd Erickson, our host for today at Haven and Wawa's Taqueria. Jamie DeRosa of Tongue and Cheek on South Beach and Paula Da Silva, chef at 3030 Ocean in Fort Lauderdale. So one of the first things I'm seeing now is the change in social media and how it's changed food. It used to be we went to Yelp. Now it's like, boom, right away on Twitter and Instagram. Is that a good thing? I think we all think it's a good and bad thing. I thought so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it can really make our businesses, but amazingly enough, depending on the type of people that come in and the reason why they're there, it can also sometimes hurt, but it can also help promote your restaurant without a publicist in the most amazing way. If you're going to play the social media game, you need to be very responsive and quickly. If you see a negative tweet, you need to be on it immediately. People, people are quick to forgive and quick to remove tweets, or um, you know, it's it's a great way to start an, a dialogue with you know, well, how can we improve? Or let's get you back in here. I tell young cooks all the time in my kitchen that it used to be you had to read a book or go to the chef's kitchen mm -hmm. to see what they did or go eat at their restaurant. On a Friday night on Instagram, you could see what the whole country is doing. Right. You know, if you follow the right people and the right mm -hmm. chefs. Um, people aren't shy to put their food out anymore. Let's talk trends now, trends in food. So I remember last year, a couple years, it's been very what we would call pork-centric. Pork is everywhere. What do you think are some of the biggest trends in food now? And I hate to follow trends, really, you know what I mean? Because I think that um, you really need to create your own niche in your restaurant and do what you really love. So yeah, it was pork-centric. Everyone across the country was bourbon, whiskey, and pork. Yeah, exactly. You know? And now I think we all got fat. The consumers, the consumers set the trend too. Yeah, with the, with the kale and the and the chia seeds because people are buying it and they they're voting with their however, dollars. However, if we didn't make kale delicious, yes, yeah. they then wouldn't nobody be, would, no, that's, that's nobody a would be buying point. it. Yeah, very much. So we're on a deserted island and there's a kitchen, and there's three ingredients you have to have. What are those three ingredients? Or even if you want to just say one ingredient, you have salt. To. You have to have salt. Hey, I'm going to make my own salt. Sort of <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs> bottle of rum what in this about you, Todd? Nice too. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Butter. Yeah. Butter. I, mean, butter. I do butter. like butter. I do. I really do like butter. <laughs> What's your tomato sauce? It would probably be soy sauce. Now, chefs are on the air. Chefs are online. They're everywhere. So is that, does that make it complicated to be a chef in the kitchen? Because yeah, now. Yeah. Because it used to be where, and Timon can speak to this because he used to work with me when, when I was a lot younger, you would just cook. And that was it. You know, and it's actually harder for everybody, even if you don't do a lot of TV because you have your darn tweets constantly and you have to keep up with social media. The role of the chef, I think, has changed, changed now. The yeah. chef in 2014, there's so many facets of what a Thank chef God, is. Thank God, though. Yes. Thank God. Yeah. Because it's really Honestly. helped all of our careers and we can do so many other things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's no, yeah, careful what cool. you wish for. Trade it. Yeah. yeah I've, I've also noticed that um, you get kids in from culinary school and they think that they're going to be the next mm -hmm. Food exactly. Network star immediately. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. They, they, and they, they graduate. Yeah, and they want to be Granite Cats and all, you know, all these big names and they're like, they're like all into the foams and all into all, all this stuff. And I'm like, dude, you need to be able to sear a piece of fish. Yeah. You need, <laughs> you know, you get, get yeah. Get or show basic. up on time. You, like, that's, <laughs> everybody wants to be You've got to pay your dues. Yes, you've got to sit here and clean the hoods at night. Yes, yeah. I did it. <laughs> and you got, yeah, you know, floors. and do the floors. <laughs> do you watch out for each other? Is the competition real? For me, every time someone young and really talented comes about, I think to myself, okay, I gotta work harder. We want each other to do well because it will, if we're competing with anyone, it's the other cities in the United States. And there's something to be said for cooking good food, cooking good, honest food. I think when you go back to the trends, that's the trend that'll stay consistent, is cooking good, honest food. Do you get invited to people's houses and are they nervous to cook for you? 
I hate hearing, I would never cook for you. I'm like, why not? You know, I mean, I, I, I don't have incredibly sophisticated tastes. I mean, I know what I like, but I, it usually tends to properly cooked and seasoned. I mean, that's about it. You okay. Know? Yeah. I mean, if it tastes good, it tastes good. So you're so, not... No, 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 no. I'm just happy not to have it. That's a, <laughs> you can say it clearly as this group wants you to invite them to dinner yes. and yes. they'll eat. Yes. Cheers to South Beach Wine and Food. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers to you guys. Thank Cheers you so much. Here. Amazing. All right, back out live. As you can see, it's all wrapping up. That was the big photography session with all the chefs. It's a really tradition here. And what a wonderful conversation we had with those chefs. We really enjoyed it and very excited about this weekend. Events happening all over town. Tonight, 40 chefs from, from Chicago to New York and right here in South Florida participating in the queue. Very exciting. We'll have much more at 11 o'clock from the big party and all the stars and more Sports Illustrated models. Back to you guys. <laughs> all right, Lisa. Great job with the piece. Thanks very much. That's going to do it for us.